Hey guys, what's up? I don't know if you're up still watching, but uh, the first round of the draft just ended and I wanted to give you guys my quick take. I already um, took off my Chiefs hat and hoodie, just so y'all know. But just real quick, we just picked Ed, uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire and uh, I am an Alabama fan. I, I live in Alabama, and, but Kansas City has been my team since I was seven and I've kind of said that before, but... I have, ever since I've watched Kansas City since the early 90s, they've always had a stud running back and somebody that was also a dual threat that could catch and could run um, and kind of do all of that. And so when I saw them, like when I watched earlier this year, I watched LSU games because LSU plays Bama and everything. And that was the first time I really watched Clyde Edwards Hilaire. And I remember thinking, this dude is the real deal. I like the fact that he's low to the ground. Um, the only knock you could probably say on him is his blocking, you know, his pass blocking. But he is good out of the backfield. He's got a good head on his shoulder. He's he's, he's just a cool, nice guy. And I think he's going to fit right into the Chiefs culture, to the Chiefs team. But I remember watching that and thinking, I would love to have this guy on Kansas City. I'd love to have him. He would fit in with our offense. He would be amazing. And so I saw that we picked him tonight when a 30-second pick came up. He was still available. I thought DeAndre Swift might go. Um, I thought we might go with a defensive player. Um, and we only have, like, what, four or five more picks left in this draft. I think round five we end up with no more picks. But the way that they've been going, I think we're going to be fine at this point with what we do, who we pick. Um, and I, obviously Brett Veach and Andy Reid know what they're doing. So this guy's going to fit right into our team. He's going to fit right into the offensive scheme. He's, uh, he's used to a good, happy culture. And I think he's just going to come, he's going to go from, and believe me, I hate seeing LSU win championships or anybody but Alabama, but he's going to come from that culture to the Chiefs uh, winning culture and championship culture too. Um, he was a leading. He had, he caught more passes than some of the wide receivers that Alabama got drafted tonight, uh, like a Jerry Judy. And so he, he's got all these skills, um, and he's just gonna bring it to the table. Actually, he caught more than um, uh, Rugs. Sorry, not Judy. But uh, it's gonna be awesome to see what he can do on our team. I'm excited for it as a Chiefs fan, and I hope you Chiefs fans are too. Chiefs Kingdom is gonna be rocking this year. Hopefully, everything works out with the whole. Corona and all that stuff, and and man, it's going to be just crazy. But I had to get on here and at least say that I'm excited for it. I saw my Holmes tweet, you know, the whole the whole Shaq shimmy, and, um, you know, and I did see McCall Hardman say we should have went with Swift. I'm not going to say it was a bad. I thought we could have went with Jonathan uh, Taylor. I thought we could have went with J.K. Dobbins. I thought there was a lot of good backs out there, and I feel like that's the only, like, real need on offense that Kansas City has. I wouldn't mind having another wide receiver or two. But um, I really think that was our biggest need offensively. Um, and then also, man, we got to keep that line. We got to keep uh, Mahomes protected and then open up holes for our running game. And I want to see us have a really good balance. I love seeing Mahomes throw all day. And let him throw when we need to throw. But let's, let's control the clock. Let's run games out. Uh, he, Clyde is the guy who it's, you know, it's two and a half minutes to go in a game. We can give him the ball. We can throw him the ball in the backfield and run the clock out in some of these games. I remember watching that with Larry Johnson, how he could catch a ball in the backfield or you would hand him the ball, and that would end the game for the Chiefs. Even when we weren't the best team, we could control the clock when we had to. And that's what having a good back like that does. Damian Williams? Rocking, awesome. Please stay there. Good dual threat. But he's more of a, a pass catcher for me as opposed to a running back, whereas Clyde can do both and definitely run the ball. And he hides, man. He's Barry Sanders. He's shorter than Barry Sanders, but he's just as thick. And I don't know if he's as quick, but he's pretty close. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Chiefs Kingdom, awesome. Let's go to draft night two. But uh, let me know what you think, too. Just drop me a comment. Say, yeah, you're excited. Give me a thumbs up. That's all you need to do. Thanks, guys. Go Chiefs.